why do banknotes need third-party grading? Banknotes would be very similar to coins in the respect that uh, third party basically is trying to give you an, an opinion that isn't based upon the, the objectivity that's uh, it's my note or it's your note and obviously if I own it it's one grade and if you own it it's another grade and you know so you want to take away that uh, impartiality and you're trying to you know give some type of impartiality to the grading process that uh, is not going to be there if the person who's buying or selling the note has a vested interest in the note. You know. What's the biggest challenge about grading paper money? Well, the biggest challenge, I think, is it's, uh, probably trying to keep a consistent, you know, uh, standard that uh, that the public understands, and and in now uh, trying to make sure that. Uh, there's a lot of people work on notes and do processing and uh, and there's lots of counterfeit notes uh, out there also and trying to keep up on all the new counterfeiting techniques and uh, techniques and doctoring notes. You know. What's it like working for PMG? Uh, I enjoy it. It's uh, like I say it's a uh, great group of people out there that you get to interact with. You get to exchange ideas on a regular basis, and uh, you get to see. The, the nice part about it is you're seeing the notes in a controlled environment. You know, you're looking at them in the same lighting conditions, you know, all the time. Versus at a show, you have neon lights one time, fluorescent light over here. You've got, you know, windows, outside skylights, and so the lighting conditions you know, change a lot and when you're on the Bourse floor, it's much more difficult to try to really grade a note versus being in a controlled environment looking at many different notes under the same lighting conditions. Yeah.